Alright All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. Yeah, yeah. My boy C Jack over here. And we are Break Room Blitz, what baby. Up? All lies on me. All lies. Dear mama. <laughs> <laughs> Dear mama. Dear mama. Yo mama. Hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Not your mama. It's <laughs> wrong. Alright, so. Just came back from seeing All Eyes on Me, baby. Ooh. You couldn't tell, baby. Man, <laughs> been waiting a long time for this movie here. Uh, wow. The cast. The Who acting. do we got? Who do we got in here? Who's oh, Tupac, first of all? Oh, my gosh. Up? Tupac. Tupac. Demetrius Ship. Brand new guy. I did like that they did like have some type of continuity. Because they got the same Biggie from Notorious. Let's see who else we got up in here. Man, the cast was great. It was great. Michonne cast. from Mama. The Walking Dead. Mama. Uh, Danny Goria. Goria. I'm like messing this up, I'm sure. But she plays as Mama. Mama. The guy who plays Suge is also named Dominic Santana. Wow. Uh, great. Gross. Some great actors. But <laughs> well, there's a lot of people in here. Yes. When you see the movie, you're going to be like, wow, they got everybody in here. Right. I loved it. Um, it was pretty good. And honestly, the acting was on par. Oh, yeah. It was pretty much on par. Um, what you guys think about Tupac? Was he believable? Oh, or man. Or was he like a notorious, <laughs> notorious uh, Tupac? Which no, was so goofy, no, man. no, no. <laughs> Uh, who was that? Anthony Mackie Tupac? Oh, man. Anthony, Anthony Mackie Mackie Tupac. No. Terrible. No. Uh, no, he wasn't about to swoop in and ruin this movie. I mean, this Tupac, I mean, you see him on screen, and I'm just like, yeah, dude, this is him. This is him right here. I mean, I, I loved it. It was good. It was, he played the role, and I, I was kind of worried at first because he didn't get the first couple of lines in, but when he started, like, you know, speaking and saying his role and even singing, I bought it. And I mean, yeah, there was a couple of uh, lip singing in there, but he's definitely I, lip singing the whole yeah, time. Yeah, there's right? a, there's a lot of lip singing Which in there. Which I think was needed because it brought that nostalgia. It brought those um, those feelings back from when in 1996 or yeah. like, whenever you were listening to Tupac. Mm -hmm. I was like, dang. Right. What do you think about him? I actually really liked him. Um, I got the, I got a really a huge sense of the character. Like he. Well, as far as what he represented in music, period. Like, it really just, that actor really brought it to life. And I won't say I was watching Parallels, but it was it was pretty damn close. Like, it was awesome to kind of, like, see it. It made you miss it. Because you're sitting there going, like, man, why do you have to go? I know, right? <laughs> he was yeah. ahead of his time, yeah. man. It was definitely Wait. nostalgic to see him. I was a little worried because I thought that his face just wasn't really as slim as... Uh, Tupac's was right, uh, but he really did look like him to me. Whenever he had on a hat, and whenever oh, and when he was man. in jail, it was scary. Like yeah. it was like identical, <laughs> right? But when he was just like him as a kid or younger, uh, it didn't. It was like oh, I don't know. But that wasn't really what we, I guess, hired him for. It was for the acting, for yeah. his, all his dramatization. That's right. And he was he was good with the oh, yeah. he, just as the far as the life. drama. Yeah. His uh, antics, his body... His right. body language. His body Definitely. language is all into it. His movements, how he talked to people, how he engaged people. Yeah. Very, very verbal and communicated with the hands. And yeah, just he did his homework expression. for sure. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Like, he, he studied this guy up and down, so... And what I really appreciated, which I wish a lot of the comic book movies would do, is learn how to do an origin story. Yeah. We got, we got an origin story all the way back from when he was in the womb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, further back than we've this ever seen This is where anything. you came from. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And then it just it just flowed. It was like, yeah. oh, oh, okay, yeah, all right. And yeah. it, it just really connected. And it wasn't like, oh my gosh, how long are we gonna stick on this mama? We really got the roots though, <laughs> definitely, because that's definitely. how he was raised. We got to know like what drove him, you know, what what inspired. And I'm glad that they did that because when you watch, I'm, everyone's probably watched a lot of documentaries. When you watch a lot of documentaries, you realize what kind of man he really was, how much yep. of an activist he was. Um, how uh, outspoken he was, how intelligent he was. Yeah, in the media, you would get a lot of you know him spitting into the camera, him you know flicking people off, you know. But that's just when he was upset mm -hmm. about how he was being treated. But as a person, he was very articulate. He went to an art school. He did you know it? It, it was like really showed him Shakespeare that. left, right, up, and down. I mean, he had some soulful, you yeah. know, old English in him so it translates to his lyrics you know yeah. like everything that he knows from his art school his his teachings it's like literature his poem it's very poetic you know now what do you guys think about the mama 
Oh, I'm just calling Miss Shone. Miss Shone. Miss Shone was on <laughs> point. She was killing it too. Oh, dude, she kills it in The Walking Dead. She killed it in here. Yeah. Oh man, like her acting, she's just a top level. I didn't like recognize. It took me a second because when I first saw her, I was like, "This looks familiar." Yeah. And then the like when I got the acting out of her, I'm like, "This is really familiar." <laughs> and then just I don't know her overall as a mama, like it, it, like it's crazy because it's like one thing I really appreciated only because there's a relation there is just the fact that you know your mom is is a hard pushing woman, single mom for the most part, right. has to do what she's got to do for her kids, and mm -hmm. she's as strong as hell. But she also hit her weak points, and it's just really kind of cool to see the balance and how you know, you know, even parents go through that too. Yeah. Right? And uh, so it's just like I mean, her overall acting was just phenomenal. Like loved seriously, it. I loved it. I loved how she brought up her kids. You know, she wasn't so concerned about a basketball. You know, yeah. In, right. in the there's a scene where for Christmas, he gets a book, a mm -hmm. notebook. Yeah. Stole you know, school, no start matter. writing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I really like that because a lot of a lot of especially kids that don't have their fathers around. Don't have an outlet, yeah. so to be able to just write down, not even just rap, but just, or poems, but to just write down what you feel, it means a lot. Yeah. So I feel like, even though she did have her weak points, she understood what it what it took to actually raise her kids, and yeah. I, I really did appreciate that. Yeah. So we get this interview type of movie mm -hmm. where you know he's being interviewed by this guy. Mm -hmm. How was that? Towards was it a good transition? Was it a little annoying or? No, I mean I think it, it, it set up for the movie perfectly because you know he's taking us back to talking about where he came from you know he born on the east coast and then like has to move out to the west coast and how he transitioned there and the whole time that he's giving this interview he i mean he's in prison you know and then it shows the dealings that he had to make with suge knight to get out you know and then it finally shows him getting out of prison and then we transition to you know him being free outside of that interview and into like the real life and moving on with his career yeah so it was it was good transition. It, it worked really good to have and have back and forth because it's almost like usually when we have movies like this, you hear them talking about what's going on. It wasn't it wasn't any of that. It was like a gesture to it, and then they showed you. So I really appreciated that because it's almost right. like we didn't get that. It wasn't a documentary. It was a film. It was a movie about a person's life. So this was kind of a really fun way to tell it. And just leading up to everything, it, we didn't get too much, getting too little, just balanced off really nice. I, I liked it. I really liked it because it allowed us as the audience to be able to watch it as he was thinking about it. Yeah, he right. was asked a question, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then he pondered, and then we saw the scene. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it wasn't like it was from someone else's perspe perspective or from the uh, interviewer's perspective. We, what they gave us was this is what, how Pac thought about it. What do you think about this should night uh, versus? The one in Straight Outta Compton. I prefer the one in Straight Outta Compton. Oh, there, there, there's something about so that, hard. maybe that actor or the way that they wrote his script from that one, that it's just like a little bit more um, mafia. And, and we got a little bit of that in this one for sure, you know? But I don't know, it really went down like in Straight Outta Compton for me, you know? Like with them pressuring, you know, to get easy out of his contract and everything that went through there. And I, I don't know, just for me personally, it would have to be the straight out of Compton one. But this one was pretty good. That's interesting because honestly, what I have felt about it was they just said, here's Suge Knight. That's who he's supposed to be. Yeah. Roll with it. Right, and I was right. like, well, I don't know <laughs> if that, if I'm really buying it. Yes, they did some crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. But him, I didn't, I didn't really like him too much, but it, I was rolling with it. So I was okay. Yeah. This one... I felt like this guy has some real swag to him. They gave us like, a lot more. Yeah. A this lot is kind of like who that person is as a as a who that actor is as a person. Yes. It might not be. I don't want to put that on him. But <laughs> that's how much I was buying it. Like, yeah. oh snap! He's very. I, I didn't watch Straight Outta Compton, but this should definitely like if you talk about the hero villain complex, like Homeboy. Just, I didn't like him. Like I, I liked him as a character, great character, but like. I would never want to be in the same room with this dude. Like, I just, I'll be like, nope, no, you're going to kill me. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, man. The way, <laughs> they was treating, the way he was treating people. Oh, yeah. man. Well, it's just because yeah. you couldn't tell. Like, he was just like, he didn't look mad, angry, or nothing. He's just like, hey, friend. <laughs> it's, like, oh, oh, it's all business. Is that right? It's all business. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, well, look, look at him. Yeah. You think he fly, don't you? Yeah. Don't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, he's, like a, he's like a snake, and I hate snakes. Snakes just gawk at you, and they don't show anything, and they just they just get you. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Do the deed. It was, it was, I thought he did a really good job. It's going to be real tough to be able to, I got, to, to, to say, what do you guys think? <clears throat> if you saw the movie, 
Do you think that this Suge Knight was better than the one in uh, Straight Outta Compton? Let us know. Go ahead and comment on that. Yeah. Um, <sighs> also, we got Biggie in this. We got mm-hmm. Biggie. Um, reprising his role. Right. Notorious. I love because I thought he was a great actor. Yeah. Um, I really wish he would have been in more things. <sighs> yeah. I and not really just did. Biggie yeah. the rest of his life. Yeah. I mean, I guess I don't know what else other movie they can make with him in it, but I wish that he would do something else. Yeah. Uh, because he is a great actor yeah. as he far is, as yeah. like he could be he could be another boss in some type of like gangster movie. I think that he actually has a lot of stage presence. He does. Yeah. Um, He's a big dude. He is. So I yeah. did appreciate that because there's continuity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like we're this is this all happened in one world. They couldn't get everyone. Right. Dr. Dre. Yeah. Yeah. Snoop. But I think for the Snoop that they got in this one, I, I really appreciate it. When he was on screen and I heard his voice, I was like, is that actually Snoop? I was like, whoa, it was tripping me out. I'm going to bet that it was. Oh, man. I'm going to bet that that was a voiceover. Voiceover? Sounds like it was a, I, thought it was, I pretty much thought it was a voiceover. I'm like, that's too dead on. Like, no way. Like, right. man, you guys we don't know. If you guys know, let us know if yeah. that was a voiceover or not. I'm not sure. It really sounded like it was him, though. I'm talking about facts, though. Don't come to what your opinion, because it's our opinion. <laughs> yeah, right. I want opinion versus opinion. <laughs> if you have some facts, and it was a voiceover or not, mm-hmm. let us know. Greatly appreciate that, because it was on point. <laughs> oh, Definitely. Yeah. It, man, it really brought back, like, from when I was a kid. That's Because I remember, I grew, I was about 10 when the whole incident went down. So I remember, I remember the East Coast versus West Coast. And I'm on the West Coast, so West Side. Um, <laughs> Still strong. <laughs> because it was a big deal. Like, they didn't play our music. We didn't play their music. Yeah, there was a rivalry going right. on, for and sure. And the media really just blew it up. Yeah. You know, but there's so many, so many like, theories and, um, I, I don't know, just, just different conspiracies. conspiracies. Different conspiracies yeah. out there that you just don't really know. Yeah. And I thought that this one, so it really, like, portrayed that, like, battle. I thought, you know, it really made me remember how I felt at the time. Yeah. Yep. You know, I don't want it to be now. Yeah. So I'll be... Yeah, oh, yeah. Friend, friend. Well, I mean, ni- ni- <laughs> 1992, I thought that they were actually going to bring up the whole thing with the L.A. riots and Rodney King around that same time. And maybe that's what's, like, kind of, like, you know, try to unite, you know, people, you know, it's like... You know, I think they did it already. Change, with you know. Compton. Yeah. I mean, I think it was fine. Right. It, yeah. They didn't need to. I thought it was a great pickup to where Straight Outta Compton left off. Right, and it was it kind of bounced in between those fine lines that I thought it was perfect. You know, we got the introductory of Dr. Dre and like the work that he did there, and then bouncing right over to the next studio doing work with Snoop. And I was like, damn, man, that's right. He was in yeah. everything. He was. He was going one from one booth to the next. Yeah, doing work. And Dr. Dre. <laughs> Honestly, that's you know how I remember him. There was some controversy, you know, because uh, John Singleton didn't get to do the, the the movie. He was supposed to be the director, but something happened. Then he got on the radio and said, "Well, it's not going to be as great as I would have made it, but it's being made." So there was a lot of beef with the producers here and John Singleton. Really? Honestly, I was. With that said, I was a little nervous, and we weren't getting a lot of actual trailers for it. We weren't, no. no. We were getting snippets. We got one <laughs> solid trailer that I was still kind of iffy about. Right, so I was like, oh, man, they can't do my dude Tupac wrong. <laughs> it's like, clench up. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like there was no way they could have done this like wrong. It was, it's too much of a hype. Like, well, they could definitely wrong. They could, but I feel like it was too much of a risk factor. Like, they had no choice. Because it's like, yeah. this is there's, there's a defined line between people and history. And it's just when it comes to, especially Tupac, it's like, if you screw this up, like... Yeah. <laughs> right, but yeah. what I thought about Tupac might not have been what you thought about Tupac, and it could m- really, like, make people upset. Like, yeah. his mom or his sister mm-hmm. didn't want to be a part of the, the, the production at towards the end because she didn't like the way he was being portrayed. Right. I don't know what, what, what what's going on, because mm-hmm. honestly, I liked everything that I saw. Yeah. I'm actually glad that I went to go see it and didn't, like, kind of, like, oh, choose sides, John right. Singleton versus them, like... Oh, man. I'm glad I just wanted to go see it because it was a yeah. Tupac movie. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? It's, it's a guy to go see, like, period. I mean, as, as far as, like, cinematography, the director goes, I mean, and all that, you know, I, I did prefer the cinematography oh, on, on Straight Outta Compton over this one. There's something about, you know, the way that they filmed that. Uh, just, like, 
I don't know. It's I think cleaner. it had to be different because it was like a group of people. Right. Mm-hmm. They yeah. had to really tell it a lot differently mm-hmm. than focusing on one person. Sure. I, so I get that. I'm going to give them a little leeway. And, and you know what? It, 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 it doesn't take away from the movie that much, you know, but I see the differences in both, you know. All right. It so was with, just that, good. with that said, oh, man. what are we rating this movie here? Oh, man. You know, I really enjoy this movie. For it being a, a biopic, I got so much information out of it. Yeah. Nostalgia and everything. I'm a, I'm gonna give it a nine. Like I thought it was it was nine. good. For for Whew. it's it's a it's a drama. It's a biopic. You know. A down. We have so many bad movies coming out. <laughs> yeah. It's a relief. It's such a relief seeing a good movie. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> oh man. It is a relief because we did just see a really whack movie. You know, I, and I was saying going into this movie that if this movie is bad, it should have just been a Netflix. Netflix is killing it. They're coming out with a lot of good stuff, you know? And if it's Netflix, it's worth it. Yeah, all right. So what are you giving this? Um, I, I thoroughly enjoy this movie. It, it is, I'm flat out going to give it a nine from the get-go, but there's, I just want to kind of enhance the reasons why. Like, I just overall love the acting. The story was really good. And the thing is, like, I didn't grow up with Tupac too much. I didn't get into music till like, after that scene. So it's like to, to hear the music, not be a part of the world, but then be brought to the world now, made me really, really appreciate it. Um, and I think the biggest thing, and something I said, I told Derek afterwards, it, re- it really like it hurts because like I, I've I've met I've had a lot of favorite singers, and to have them go to their d- drug overdoses and stuff, and to have to lose Tupac that way, it sucks because he was he was such an intelligent person, he had such wisdom, such history, and it, it sucks that back then the wars got so heated that we lost people that could have been heavily influential on today. It would oh, yes. be very important, especially yeah. now, because he was so outspoken, and he, he wouldn't let anyone talk him down. He, he, he stood up for everything, and he said what was right. And honestly, uh, be with everything that's stirring the pot now, that voice would have been so needed right now, just to kind of make it, just to strongly make a point. So yeah. I think that, but, so that's what's hitting me hard right now, is the fact that he, he was, again, so influential that that voice right now in our current time frame could have made a huge difference as far as right the now, voice yeah. of the black community. And I'm, uh, <laughs> but being the voice of the black community, like he could have been a very strong, influential piece to the puzzle to really unite us because I feel like that's what's really lagging. lagging. And it just, it sucks that people like that had to die when they could have really, really changed the world. He still changed the world, but it's like, I, I it's like, I wish you were here right now. It's because a lot of influence. voice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was kind of like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so it right. just it sucks. Yeah. Like yeah. that that's hitting me right now. Like I'm leaving the, the, the theater with that. There's a lot like, of stuff going on. Right <laughs> now. That you that you said it because they they mention that in the actual movie about him being targeted and things like that. And honestly, when you are a voice against the system, especially with the systematic racism, you do become targeted, and they will put charges on you that aren't valid, that aren't true. And, you know, they will try to discredit you. And I think that's, even though he was, you know, in the hip hop scene, right. he disrupted enough people yeah. in the higher ups to where. There was an entire generation that he influenced yep. because of his music and what he was saying. Right. And, and it's funny. People will say he's still alive. And oh, man. The thing. Unsolved mystery. <laughs> right. The only issue with that is when you actually learn who he was and how vocal he was. I don't think he would be able to be quiet through all this turmoil no. that's been going on no. since 1996. Tupac. So that's my a... only reason why. I haven't even met someone who said that they met him. Witness protection oh, program. Like, all right. What? So I'm like, why are you telling me this? It was no reason for her to tell me this. Yeah. You know. So I. But once I learned who he was, how vocal he was, I was like, well, I just don't. I don't see him like sitting back unless he just something happened that was just so bad yeah. to where he just had to be quiet. I don't see it happening. So with this movie, it really, I'm sorry if anyone thought he was someone different. As far as what I've learned, they portrayed him as who I thought he was as a person, as a man. He did have his 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 morals and he had his his stance that he would take. But yeah, he was a little crazy. He, he yeah. was young. He was young. You yeah, that's the thing. He was in his 20s, man. Yeah. Right. So yeah, he did blow his money. Yeah, he did blow his mouth. You know, it... it that's what you do when you're that young and you're angry. Right. You know, so I thought it was a great job uh, portraying who he was. I'm going to give it a 9. I mean, I don't I really want to give it a 9.5. I don't see anything really wrong with it. Yeah. Um, damn, but I don't want to give it a 10. I got to rewatch it for a 10. <laughs> yeah. But I'm going to give it a 9, especially with yeah. these movies that we've seen lately. Like, it was very refreshing to see something that was 
great. It's a breath Definitely, of fresh yeah. air with so many fresh faces on here yeah, too. Yeah, you know? well, that's awesome too. It's, it's like, fresh to them. You guys are gonna recognize. <laughs> they have a lot of old cats that you're gonna know. And see, that's the bad thing is we should know what he knows. Like, I mean, this whole casting. I'm Tell like, me what you know. I like it. I like it. I like it. And so, in other words, they need to be in more movies. So get on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's our review. We don't want to take up too much of your time, but let us know something. What's your Favorite biopic in the last two or three years, I guess. Notorious, straight out of Compton. I'm not gonna know them all, so I'm gonna go ahead and change. <laughs> all right. Uh, Notorious, straight out of Compton, all eyes on me, and we just had the new edition uh, story that that was turning heads uh, all for three whole nights. So two hours long. They were. It was a great, great biopic. Let me know what's your favorite out of those you four. Got one, bro. Straight out of break room. What up? <laughs> no, too much. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, <laughs> share, and comment. If it's something you guys don't like, let us know. Don't just press that dislike button. Tell us what you dislike, and we Derek will try wants to correct to it. Or we will just ignore you anyway. So <laughs> no, we won't press it because it's funny. He's you will answer. He'll be like, "What?" <laughs> right. I'm just saying we might not make the change. Oh, but, well, yeah. <laughs> I will explain to you why we do this way. No, but for real, let us know. We want to know. All right, guys. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. I'm on. See Jack in the house. And we're out, baby. Peace. What? Sorry. That's the blooper. <laughs> we come to the break room to get crazy. Do a movie review and <laughs> hear us few a couple words here. <laughs>